On the military watch tonight, for most Americans, honoring those who serve is vital. For others, it's a lifelong pursuit. But tonight, a mission to pay respect to America's bravest is a passion with a distinctly feminine touch. The saying goes, home is where the heart is. For the brave men and women who poured their hearts into the red, white, and blue, this is now their home. Jacksonville National Cemetery. And a special group of ladies will always be waiting to greet them. Our purpose is to uh, ensure that no serviceman uh, or women, lady is buried without someone being there. To that our purpose is to make sure that no veteran is buried alone, but also we want to support the families who are here that are burying their loved ones and uh, just serve as a silent witness to their services. You can't be in better company as a final resting place than the men and women who are buried here. More than 3,000 service members and their families are here. The Jacksonville ladies, as they're known, make sure that when a funeral takes place, someone is always here to say thank you. Ever since the Revolutionary War, our family has served. And uh, so uh, red, white, and blue runs through my veins. This is, is my way of showing my gratitude for those who have served you just get a feeling, you know, that feeling that grabs your heart. Heart is what these fallen heroes gave. And now the ladies are giving a little piece of theirs. The hope is more people will recognize the sacrifices of those at rest and transform this place into something special during wreaths across America. I think it's just a wonderful tribute when we're all at the very same time all across, across the country and across the world laying a wreath on a veteran. There will be a wreath laying ceremony at Jacksonville National Cemetery on December 10th, but organizers are kind of behind in fundraising to purchase enough wreaths for every gravesite there. To get more information on how you can help or how to become a Jacksonville lady, go to actionnewsjax.com.